Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you Crota's fourth session of Crota's Q&A. Now, one of the questions that I got was, is it better to get the armor upgrade or the weapons upgrade first in StarCraft 2, and why is it better? Now, in homage to all of you guys who are going back to school, I thought I'd try to open up a little StarCraft 2 school and and do this in the you know in a presentation of you know just college slides and i hope you guys enjoy it so here we are let's dive into starcraft 2 armor upgrades versus weapons upgrade now before we um, dive into it we first have to ask the question what is an armor upgrade all an armor upgrade is is an, a number that reduces the amount of incoming damage per attack so if you take a look at these examples here, a Hydralisk versus a one armored Marine, that Marine, instead of taking the full 12 damage, now that it has one armor, will be taking 11 damage. It, however, for the Zealot, if a Zealot is trying to attack a Marine, the Marine, instead of taking the full 16 damage, it will take 14 damage because that eight damage is reduced by one and then multiplied by two. So you can see that here, the increase on the Marine is 14, is from 16 down to 14, sorry, the decrease, and the Hydralis is from 12 down to 11. Now taking a look at the attack upgrades, the attack upgrades, all it does is it increases the amount of damage that a particular unit does. So the Zealot with an attack upgrade, instead of dealing 16 damage, will deal 18 damage. Meanwhile, the Thor, instead of dealing 60 damage, does 66 damage. Now, a lot of you guys may be wondering, wait, we already know this attack upgrades, you deal more damage. So what armor upgrades, you deal more damage. Yeah, I knew that. Well, one of the ways that a lot of people have been trying to calculate uh, calculate damage is with DPS. And DPS, although it is effective for a lot of large scale battles in the end of the game, DPS isn't nearly as effective during the early portion of the game. During the early portion of the game, you should really be um, comparing ATK. And an ATK is the number of attacks it takes to kill a unit versus the damage per second. Now, to really illustrate why this is the case and why it's important is we need to take a look at the Zealot versus the Zergling um, scenario. Now, on the left-hand side, hopefully this is not too confusing. On the left-hand side over here, we have the at ATK, the attacks to kill. Meanwhile, over here on the right side, we have the DPS. So with zero weapons upgrade, in order to kill a Zergling, it will take three attacks to, to kill a Zergling. And your DPS is 13.3 damage per second. Now with one weapon upgrade, for the Zealot though, the attacks to kill goes down to two, so that it goes from three down to two. Meanwhile, the DPS increases from 13.3 up to 15, DP, uh, 15 damage per second. Now, with one weapon upgrade, the Zealot of essentially kills a Zergling 33% faster with only a 12.5 increase in DPS. This is what I call one of those critical upgrades for a unit where all of a sudden it's a, it's a complete game changer. And a 33% having your two Zealots and a fight like three is a very, very big increase in damage. It's, it's, it's essentially a 50% increase in the effectiveness in this fight. Now, um, Although there are ways for the Zealot to go one way, where the, the Zealot becomes more effective against a Zergling, there's, you, there's also instances where upgrades really don't do anything at all. So if you take a look at the Terran mech example, right here I have the, um, the ATK number crunching with zero weapons upgrade. Now the Hellion with the, with the Igniter research, it will take it two rounds of a, two attacks to kill a Zergling. And I just realized that these numbers are all wrong. So I will have to adjust these over here as I'm typing. So yeah, this is live and um, live PowerPoint for all you guys to watch and see. So the Hellion with the Igniter research, um, it will take two rounds of attack to kill a Zergling, two rounds of attack to kill a drone, and four rounds of attack to kill a Hydra. The Thor, on the other hand, it will take one round of attack to kill a Zergling, one round to kill a drone, and one round to kill a Hydra. Now, if you move on to the other to these other scenarios as well, even if you get the level one weapons upgrade, the numbers stay exactly the same. If you get the level two weapons upgrade, the numbers stay exactly the same. If you get the number three weapons upgrade, the ATK stays exactly the same. So even though your quote unquote DPS is being increased by 10% for the Thor, your attacks to kill is not going down by 10% at all because it's already hit that critical number. So in the Terran mech example, a, th a, a zero three Thor 
is going to be more effective against a swarm of zerglings than a 2-2 Thor, just because those zerglings are not going to be able to deal as much damage towards that Thor before that and um, before that Thor gets taken down. So really, when you guys are taking a look at your upgrades and trying to figure out what scenarios are better and how and what you should be researching first, this is what you should be looking at during the early portion of the game. And um, I actually tried this in one of my games where in, in a Terran mech, Thor and Hellions do a really good job of countering most of the Zerg army. The only thing it doesn't really counter that well is Roaches, but I'll get into that a little bit later. But I went for 0-3 upgrades on my Terran mech. And you wouldn't believe the success I had. Zerglings were trying to surround my Thors. My Thors, because they had that one additional or two additional armor during key fights, those Zerglings were only doing three damage per hit. And those Hellions were able to clean them up very quickly. Same thing with the Mutalist. The Mutalist, very, very rarely do I ever see a Zerg player ever get an air weapons attack. So instead of the Mutalist doing a full nine damage against that Thor, those Mutalists were only dealing six damage. So effectively, three Mutalists or sorry, three Mutalists were doing the same amount of damage as two Mutalists, and then also that chain splash damage is also significantly reduced. So here's one example where Terran, uh, for Terran mech versus Zerg, where armor upgrades are more effective than weapons upgrade. Now, I am not advocating only getting 0-3 upgrades. It is important to try to do your balances and upgrade 3-3 ultimately in the end. Because as the game progresses later on, you are going to get very, very high, very, very large numbers of units. And it's no, no longer going to really depend upon, you know, one one on one or two on two fights. Since you're going to have such a large overlap in the battles, a large overlap in the splashing of that damage as well. That's where things really change. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed this session of Crotus Q&A, and I hope you guys all enjoy going back to school. Thanks.